it sometimes takes the case of just one to shed light on the suffering of so many. A child's rights group says that a Yemeni child bride, Fawzia Ahmadi, labored for three days before dying along with her baby on Friday. She was just 12 and was married at 11, a practice all too common in the tribal region of western Yemen, where she's from, and a continuing problem throughout the poorest country in the Middle East. With every labored breath, these vulnerable newborns are one step closer to survival by receiving the specialized care that's all too rare in Yemen. These compromised young lives are many times the offspring of children. And at bedsides throughout the maternity ward in Yemen's capital, Sana, there are stories of girls too young to have children who die trying. This man tells us of a girl he found in the middle of the road in his village, desperate and in labor. She died, and after she died, the baby died. She was walking a long way and she died on the road without making it to hospital. He says his own young wife, married at just 15, had four children, but also four miscarriages. I suffered a lot, she says. I bled a lot and was in pain and upset. She says, I was scared for myself and my children and regretted marrying so young. Suha Basrin is with Oxfam in Yemen says the country has one of the highest maternal mortality rates in the Middle East. If girls survive, they face complications during pregnancy. And most of the girls, they have uh, problems um, during delivery. Their children are uh, uh, low weight. Uh, they have uh, anemia, low hemoglobin, because the girl herself, her body is not ready to bear a child and uh, malnutrition among the mothers and the uh, children. The cycle of maternal death is carried on many times by the cultural tradition of child brides. The UN says more than half of all married women in Yemen are under 18. It's the fate that Najud Ali fought so hard to escape. Najud was just 10 years old when her family married her off to a man more than three times her age. In a highly publicized case, Najou demanded and received a divorce. She is now back with her family. But hers is one of just a handful of similar cases. Most child brides stay married and often begin having children of their own immediately. Human rights campaigners say the legacy of child brides not only deprives young women of their childhood, but often condemns them and their babies to an early death. Paul Newton, CNN, London.